So the pool light in my pool has a bracket and part of the plastic has broken off. So I'm going to attempt to repair that with a 3D printed part. So this is a part I've printed out. It's got some holes cut out that is going to fit over the bottom of the bracket in the picture there. And the idea is that I'll just get some of this pool sealant. So this one's specially made that it resists chlorine and can be applied to underwater areas. So the idea being is that this will stick against the side of the pool where the existing bracket is. I don't want to take the existing bracket off and try and replace that completely because as you see there it's got some screws in the side of the pool and I don't want to uh, chance water leaking through those holes. So the idea being is that I'll print off another piece of a bracket that will stick on the back of the LED light when that's inside there like that and then I'll just screw in the top of the light just there and then that will keep it acting as if this was the bottom bit of the bracket that had broken off. So let's go and fit this to the pool. And then it starts raining just as you're getting set up. So I've got the bracket here and the ridged edge. I've just got to make sure that uh, gap there is pointing up. So I've applied like, the silicon to that bracket and I've left none there because that's where the tab's going to go in. So now I'll see if we can stick that on. One good thing to do when you're taking the nozzle off is to put a cap on and that should keep it fresh. I've tried wrapping uh, cling film around that but it just never seems to help. That just all goes off inside. So just a little tip for you. I designed the brackets in Fusion 360 and by taking a picture of the pool I was able to use that as a background canvas to gauge and calibrate the size of the image against the size of the bracket I was trying to design. The bracket was just done by a simple sketch and basic extrusion. So when I wanted to measure something underwater what I did was I just used these spring calipers and then measured the bit that I wanted to measure underwater. So in this case I'm just measuring out the, the gap between the top of the bracket and the bit I just glued on today is 106 millimeters. As it happens when I went into the pool today I actually took my Canon remote in my trunks pocket uh, but it's still working fine so that's good. So I'm hoping having one of these caps on is, makes it really good at saving the silicone So this is the bracket here with the offset area I need to glue that down on top of here where the screw hole is and that should give me enough guidance for where that goes into the bracket. It doesn't leave me very much space in here for actually getting this in so I'm not sure how that's going to fare. Um, I was going to epoxy it on but I want to be able to get this off in case I can't get the LED on using the silicon. So I think what I'll do is I'll just silicone this on and see how I go. So I'll just 
one up give me a rough, rough size. So probably just need to make sure that it isn't quite so far down. So I'll just smooth that just up to the edge to get a bit more adhesion. Now I'll try worn that down into the pool and see if I can get that into the bracket that's down below. So I just have to wind this cable on as it goes further down. goggles on and I lost the screw for it so I'm gonna have to try some different size things to see which which one's the right size so I think I'll do that first. Okay so it's not M3 it looks like M4 is the winner um, but I don't have any stainless steel M4 bolts so I'll probably just cut that one down uh, rather than using the screws that I've got uh, and we'll see, see how that goes ok so now I know how much to shorten that by, so I'll go shorten that. Okay, so I've shortened the, the screws, and we'll see how I get on with that. Okay. So all that's left now is to switch over that screw for a stainless steel one, and we'll see how well the PLA holds up under the chlorine water so I'm not sure how that's going to fare um, if it doesn't I'll just print it out with a different type of material uh, and see how I go from there Cheerio!